Image Comics spec list. I've got a top five. Now, just I don't have that many Image Comics, just from my collection, really. But uh, these are some, five of them which I think sort of um, have potential. Now, the first one is, she's beautiful, Red One, number one. A few years back now, uh, about five or so years back now, uh, but uh, four or five years back now, but um, the story's brilliant, first class brilliant, the artwork is quite distinctive, and uh, it's she's a Russian spy, the Red Wine character, and she's she's babylicious, and people go for these hot, hot covers a lot now, hot female covers, um, especially that's, that Mary Jane one recently, which we're going on about, of Spider-Man, 601, I think, ASM, 601 or something like that. That's very hot at the moment, but um, this is all the potential for um, picking up on a movie, uh, being optioned one of these days. If if I produce a second series, it, I think it'll go. It'll, it'll go. It's something which... Red one, number one, that's going to be a goer. And in time, those those early image comics, they're just going to pick up. Deathblow Wolverine, number one. Well, it's it's Wolverine. So it's hot enough because it's Wolverine. But Deathblow is an, is an okay enough sort of image character. He's, he's a cool, cool enough name and stuff like that. And this is just one of those comics which will sort of gradually rise in the long term. It's not a, not a huge key issue or anything like that. But it's one of those comics which, with a cover like that and the coolness of a comic... It's gonna, it's gonna gradually rise. It's, it's a safe enough bet for long-term investment. Now, the strength of firepower number one is simply the fact that it's, it's still going. You know, I mean, a, l a lot of spec in, on on some characters is whether the comic simply endures long enough. And with firepower, like um, Oblivion Song, which has been optioned, but firepower, um, it's just still going as as a, an image comic. It's up to a certain number of issues now, and it's still going, and it's it's possibly got its sales okay. It was a little bit popular to start with. There was a little bit of a little bit of heat on it, and with a name like Five Power should be, but this is probably a safe enough bet for a return. It's a little bit of a an established comic, which will probably keep on going. It's um quite a qu potential on that Five Power number one. It's one I'd I'd recommend people probably have a look at and sort of secure that one. This I think. It's probably good news, Compass number one, because it's an attractive sort of looking comic. I'll show you a bit of it. Um, it's a medieval sort of comic. It's the kind of thing which I think is probably noteworthy as um, sort of good sort of uh, artwork and things like that, and just the idea of a comic. And um, it might just be one of those mini series which come and go and never do anything again. It might not be a big thing, but um, that one I'd recommend it. It looks good. More than anything else, it just looks good. It has a good feel to it, I think, Compass Number 1. So that's one I'd recommend. This one's really a no-brainer. It's very well received as Nocterra now. It's it's hitting the top the top 10 lists and things like that, Nocterra. It's, uh, I, first, I purchased this because Reggie from Reggie Collects said it was a great read when it first started, and I, I grabbed uh, the 1 to 25. Now, the 1 to 25 is not doing anything major of the moment. It's a Jimenez cover, but it's for 1 to 25. And so it's it's a lot scarcer. And with the popularity that no Terror is currently getting, uh, this is affordable at the moment. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's probably a no-brainer, one worth getting from Image.